And even say for World Menstrual Hygiene Day, they observe the uh, they, they observe for May 28. And the main idea why then they mark this day now to change the social stigma with then join with menstruation matter. World Menstrual Hygiene Day 2020 team na period for pandemic. And the idea behind this team now to take highlight how the challenges where women they face uh, during menstruation don't work for the sake of the ongoing pandemic. The date May 28, they choose them to observe the day and sake of average for the menstrual cycle for most women na 28 days and the menstruation period for most women na for five days. And to follow us discuss this matter, we get via telephone Efe Inyang, we be menstrual hygiene expert, team lead uh, for Zion Signatures from Port Harcourt. Would they hail you? Good evening, Efe, would they hail you? Well, now well done. No. Thank you. So you join us on top news and during by this evening. And when they hear say poor menstrual hygiene, saying a very, very big problem, and we still be like a polio and other badness disease. How true be this matter? Okay. Um, now true, say poor uh, menstrual hygiene. Uh, not a big problem because if um, women and girls no feel money themselves well, Mm. They don't get uh, they don't get water. Mm. Uh, for, uh, they don't get good toilet to use. Water no day the toilet. Soap no day the toilet. Mm. Uh, the toilet no get privacy. And if uh, if also say they, they won't change their pads, they don't get good. Uh, they know they see dust being around. Good mm. sanitation um, infrastructure around to throw their dead. It they affect them well well. So because of that one, just it just be like now, person goes to school, you mm. know, get good uh, f uh, toilet facility to manage the menstruation yeah, true. hygienically. Mm. The person who decides say he go stay house that period mm. until the menstruation finish. finish. Okay. Before you know what thing happen, as he think as he go stay for house, he don't miss a lot of things where teachers wait to go teach. That's true. Now, so poor men's hygiene, they affect affecting educational opportunities. Mm. Aside that one, Seth, even for church, mm. if churches not get good toilet facilities to manage, to help people uh, manage their menstruation mm. in an uh, hygienic way, they feel decided they will stay period, uh, they will stay house for some time until they finish their period. And that period where they will stay for house, if it isn't at that time, God don't tell Pastor, one message, we go tell them. Mm. They go miss out. Mm. Okay, and so for this, de for de developing countries like Nigeria, where sanitary pads are still they're very, very expensive, and many people still they use uh, tissue, and uh, some of them they use cloth, they go pad and wear well. How will it improve awareness for hygiene on top of this matter? Um, and the, the first thing we will go do now to educate people first. Okay. Uh, tell, tell them, say, let them know, say, if they use uh, one of the components, one of the major things of uh, managing your menstruation hygienically, not to use good parts. Okay. At least make them know that one first. Then secondly, mm. what we will try to do is to see how we pre-advocate for for, uh, uh, for people to donate towards period poverty. Okay. Just like the way NGOs, they come, they, they give uh, free condoms. Okay. It, it, they give front free condoms so that uh, they, will say, uh, they, they will take stop HIV. That's true. But they, most of them don't forget, say, um, sex now by choice. That's true. Menstruation not be by choice. As they, they think that kind of good thing to give free condoms, mm. maybe they also think of women. We go uh, where they we no go fee buy sanitary pad. Not true. So that they go fee help them with free sanitary pad. Okay. Okay. So if you fit tell us and uh, some of the initiative where your organization don't do to take improved menstrual hygiene. Okay. Uh, like today, mm. we 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 empower people by knowledge. Oh. We do free um, menstrual hygiene mm. management education today around twelve o'clock online. Okay. Through Facebook. Now, what do we do today? Because of the uh, COVID-19 palaba, okay. we so don't we go to um, schools. Mm. Schools are locked. Okay. Uh, we don't go to schools. Mm. We don't gather people so many like that. Okay. But we not decide to do them online. 
Mm. And then a lot secondly, of we can also initiate. Yes, a lot of people participate. Mm. Secondly, we don't initiate charity donation mm. to end period poverty. Okay. But some people still they give. Okay. So when they give enough, we go through. We go buy sanitary napkins, mm. distribute them. We still go rural areas, okay. distribute the pads. All this information you give us now, if you're young, eh, they're very, very casual. And I'm sure say, a lot of people will listen and don't gain eh, one or two eh, inside this whole information. Thank you so much for your time. I make you get a bonger day. And I'll Thank you.